Okay, guys, we are here to respond and to react to the news about the geometric power plant power station that was, uh, you know, uh, was opened a few days ago. This uh, power plant is, you know, is being built. In fact, the owner, the CEO of this company is the Professor Bartholomew Energy. He is the owner of the company. So he built this power plant in an Igbo land, in an Igbo, in Abia State precisely. You know, we all know what Abia State is known for, the companies and the manufacturing companies in there. In fact, it's one of the most uh, busy places in Southeast, a place where people are manufacturing a lot of things. Although some Nigerians, when they see you wearing something that they don't, you know, fight, they don't fancy that thing, they will say it's Abamed. We often hear the word Abamed, Abamed, Abamed. But Abamed is not all that uh, bad like people, you know, portray it to be. But the reason why they're doing that is because it's from Igbo, Igbo part of Nigeria at the moment. So we don't need to, you know, debate on what if their product from Aba is good or not. The reason of this video is to let you people know what Professor Bartholomew Manager have done and the, the importance of the company to Alibo. Alibo, Alibo are, are sidelined in many things, but People like Prof have, you know, taken it upon himself to. They have taken it upon people like him have taken it upon themselves to make sure they build viable, you know, uh, companies to make it to make Alibo to be one of the best in Nigeria, if not in Africa. Innocent, we have a company like uh, Innocent. Okay, Innocent build his own in Enugu State and some other part as well. So the, those things they are building is to help Igbo land to grow in everything, economically, business-wise, any way you can take of it. So the importance of this company is to make sure that Aba, where this company is, you know, have steady power supply, being that they are manufacturing a lot of things there, shoes, clothes, name it, bags, you know, the people of Igbo people are one of the best in Africa, if not in the world. So this company is what I want to show, show I want to show you, I want to share it with you. Some people think that, uh, you know, during the time of inauguration, because it was not inaugurated a few days ago, like as I said initially, people went there to, you know, uh, show their solidarity, show their, you know, support, to rejoice with him, with the Professor Bartholomew Energy as he opened the two face of the company which is to give abba and abba abba abba, abba people uh, so this is to give abba people constant power supply and it is not just about the constant power supply but it's about what it will bring to Igbo tribe Igbo nation a few days ago we saw what shetima said about uh, you know because as prof was in abba Southeasterners governors decided to hold the their own you know side hustle business which they, they always make promises they never fulfill in the name they want to you know electrify or light up southeast economy and all that which Shetima was there and I believe Shetima was also in the presence of uh, in the Shetima was in the in the presence you know in Abra in Abra, in Abra, in Abra where Prof inaugurated his own company geometric company in Abba. So you can search, you can google it, Geometric, okay? That's the name of the company, this power power station, power plant that Prof has, has built. It's now 20 years in making. The company started, you know, as of as of uh, three days, as of that, this week, in fact, is now 20 years. This month make, is making the 20 years of this company's existence in Nigeria. And Prof started it from scratch. It has nothing to do with the government. But you see people saying that, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's P2B. P2B build this company, P2B is behind it. This is brand from P2B and all that, which is not true. That P2B went there because P2B and Prof, they are in a very, you know, they, 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 they have a, you know, should I say, close re relationship or friendship. They have a, this uh, kind of, uh, you know, um, political ambition. They have kind of the same ideology and all that. So he, 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 both of them are friends. And P2B was there, you know, to support him as he inaugurated his company. Then you see some bloggers from Southeast, you know, pushing the owner of the company away, 
fronting um, P2P as if P2P is the one making things happen in the company, which is not true. So why I'm making it is to debunk the narrative that P2P is the brain behind this company. It's not. This company has been in existence for years. Like I said, it's 20 years you know, in making it. This month is making it 20 years of geometric power station. But for government to give them license to operate okay, in, uh, in Nigeria, they have the license, but there's a limitation. Now they have, you know, free way of operation. They can move to anywhere to establish themselves and operate peacefully around uh, around Nigeria. So this is a company owned by Prof, not together with anybody. He is single-handedly building it. So we know what uh, this company is going to give to Igbo people. Prof has done this. Sinosin has done his own. Other people need to come up to do the same thing. Not when you have money to build something, you rush to Lagos, you go to Kaduna, you go, to, you can do that. I'm not saying you should not go to other places, but make sure you start from home. Make sure you start from home. That's why I see some of the men of God that I want to build uh, their, you know, cathedral, their biggest church center and everything. They are moving to Abuja and Lagos. To me, it's, it's pointless. You are... Like, for example, Adebay, where did Adebay have his headquarters? In, in, in Yoruba land. Where did uh, Kumu, uh, not Kumu, um, where, what, what, the, 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 other, the other man of God, uh, they have, uh, I'm talking about Odudua people, okay? They have Adebay, they have, uh, uh, I, I've forgotten his name, the one that always put a white suit, okay? He's, both of them have private jets. They have their head office. In their ancestral home, but somebody like uh, uh, like uh, Zion Ministry, which is from Ibo, Ibo could be. Where, where 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 did he build his head office at the moment? In Lagos. You talk of you talk of uh, it, uh, Pastor Jerry in Abuja. These are Igbo people, and they don't have base in our place. So it's not. I'm using these people to insert the example because they are come. Everybody know them. And you, who don't even have many bigger money to expand your business, to be like them and to grow like them, where are you putting your investment? Are you putting it in Igbo land or elsewhere? Prof have done this, okay? What are you doing on your own on your own side? Are you the type that lo loves to, you know, invest in a, in another in a in another man's land, believing that we are one again and all that? You can believe that, but times shall come when you may regret it. I'm not saying you will, but you may. Because I'm not God, so anything is possible. But what Prophet have done here is word of emulation. You need to emulate it because that is what it will give you. That's why I like him. He's he's a visionary. He knows what he wants and he stands by it. Many people are giving credit at the moment to other people who are not giving word of it. You know, if Ayoba went there as well, and he 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 didn't go there to to support. Or as, as a friend, he wanted to support, but not as a friend. May, probably he went there with Shetima because I was told that Shetima was there. I mean, the vice president of the country at the moment, he was there to represent Tunubu, who's supposed to be there. Because a few weeks back, we were told that Tunubu will be there in our battle to inaugurate this company. And it happened that he did not go there. And maybe because PW will be present, and that they have proof that PW will be there. Governor of Enugu State, who's supposed to be there because but Professor Bakhlo Minaji is from Enugu State. From a kind of land, so governor did not even go there because of the way the how they manipulate the governorship election and everything. The wounds of that election is still playing, you know, out. The the card, the political the political card they played during that time is still affecting a lot of decisions they are making. That's why you see governor every now and then he went out to see people shop and do this and do that. All these things is to gain grant and to win people's heart and all that. But by doing so, he's creating more enemies to himself. So this program is not a bad political lifestyle of governors and the uh, politicians. What I'm trying to say is that if I ever went there, usually if I mentioned if I ever because he was there. So after going there, what he did, he went to this platform and wrote a long piece of note telling people that this is part of electrifying surface. Like the, the, as governors and politicians are having meeting the same day, that the same day that Nama Khan was uh, in the court. It's the same day that Bart inaugurated you know, his company. It's the same day that uh, governors, you know, decided to host whatever they want to host at Vasa Easterners. It's, it's not a new thing. 
It is not a new thing. We have seen such host, such program in the past where governors are pretending to, to host this and that. And, and then at the same time, they are not doing anything about it. They are just doing it because they feel that it's worthy of doing, that this is what they're supposed to do. But by so doing, they are in jeopardy because they are making people to believe they are working why they are not working anything you have, if you have to believe on what they said you wait for eternity like Bart is not is not a is, 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 is not that he's not a politician but he is not out for political you know activities he's that this kind of person that mind his business at the same time he can be uh, you know government appointees and all that and he serve and live he he have not hold any governmental post by election he, he was appointed as a minister of uh, science and, te and technology two times. No, one is science and, te and technology. Yes, the other one is a uh, is a uh, power, minister of power. So he have hold these two powers in, in federal in, in, in federal government, holding this power. One is during during the, during the uh, I think before before uh, uh, 1990, before democracy. Okay, I think that was during the time of. Um, uh, was it Abubaka? Some, somebody Abubaka? Before Obasanjo came into power. You know, did that interim, interim government they had, he was the Minister of Science and Technology then. Then, after that, during the time of Jonathan, Jonathan made him Minister of Power. Okay, he served and he decided to resign because of this company. Because of this geometry, because people were telling, we are trying to petition him, you are, you have your own company power company and you are minister in the federal government that you should focus on that so general was like okay prof you need to choose of them you, you can be he chose to continue with his company imagine during the time of Jonathan until now this company had been in existence and they're moving from state to state to now they are non mega powerhouse to the that that they can guarantee other people constant power supply so if you're a manufacturer in other states, this is an opportunity for you to hook to their services. They are going to deliver to you and give you what you want. This is what even people need to stand on. You need to do that. You know, when they say they don't want to restructure, these are things that other parts are afraid of. Especially the Northerners. They are afraid of the, you know, the, the ability of, um, of evil men, what they, have, what they can put to the table, what they can bring out, what they can do. The investment and the... the uh, imagine, okay, this is a professor, but I okay? He is well learned. He is a learned person. He's he's educated. He knows what he's doing. This is he's the first uh, professor, uh, first uh, first black African in, in line of uh, robotic engineers. So he is the first professor of robotic engineer in entire Africa. The first man. Okay. He's he's well known in worldwide. You can research him, professor of battle energy. Now, the. Owner of Innocent, Innocent Company, I mean the Innocent Company, the Innocent himself, because he named the company with his name. He is not well educated, but you can see his empire, you can see his company. That is an enable man for you. An enable man, can, you cannot say you will, you, like Nigerian are today, you can't do without evil people. No matter how you want to put it, no matter how you want to put it, you cannot be like an evil. You can only work with evil people. And what is with us is that. Our people have this kind of free will, free get well that anybody can come in and you know excel. Now I'm not going to you know prolong this video beyond the time that I schedule for it. I will allow you to watch the company and listen to what people said about the company. It is very, very important. Now let's go. I will I will roll the video for you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, follow me like the video i have it i have this is my facebook i have my facebook and i have youtube so you can follow me both of them facebook and youtube they are the same name okay nice to have you if you are new subscribers please i welcome you if you are old subscribers i welcome you as well thank you so much let's watch the video he's actually i've been asking him almost every time when are we going to commission when will it be commissioned and and it's come now it's come true So I'm happy that
I feel on top of the world. Finding it hard to find the words to express how I feel.